Hi everybody, it's Chelsea here, bringing you another segment of Living in Southwest Florida. So if you've been thinking about moving to Fort Myers, Cape Coral, or anywhere in Southwest Florida, then you might want to know what we love. And today I thought I'd take just a quick few minutes and make a quick video about the things that I love. And if you haven't seen it yet, about a week or so, I release things that people hate or the reasons why they leave. Um, and I did that again in 2021 too. Um, but I'm driving right now. I'm actually in Naples. I'm headed up to North Fort Myers. And um, I've been sitting here thinking about how I wanted to get this video out. And rather than wait and get it to you later, I thought I'd just go ahead and make it. So um, enjoy the scenery, I guess, through the background. Uh, and I'll just kind of talk offhand about the things that I really love about living here in Southwest Florida. So the first thing I wanna start with is the weather. It is October 26th. We are just a few days from Halloween and I am in spaghetti straps, so in a summer dress. And I love that. I love that pretty much all winter long, we can have our doors open. And um, every morning right now, I'm taking my coffee on the front, on the back patio and sitting next to the pool as I plan out my day. It's my favorite place to be with a cup of coffee. Um, we have really great birds in our backyard. And so I sit out there and I listen to the birds while I plan out my day. And it's just kind of a really lovely way to spend my day, or at least my morning. Um, we keep our windows open most of the day right now, this time of year. And it's just, it's, it's really nice getting those breezes in right now. So another thing that I really love is the wildlife we have really great wildlife around here. I know everybody is like afraid of alligators. I get asked almost every single call about the alligators, whether or not I'm afraid of them, whether or not um, you see them everywhere. You don't, you don't see them everywhere. They hate people and they tend to stay out of people-y places. So um, you will find them. There are times where I'm showing houses and I will see them in the drainage ditch or the retaining pond or whatever. Um, but it's not as common as one might think. Um, and they tend to stay away from the large crowds. They are definitely one of those animals that is case or us. Not, well, I guess not case or us or out, but they're one of those animals that just wants their peace. They don't want to be bothered by humans. So if they hear a very loud, noisy place, they get out of Dodge. Um, my favorite statistic about alligators is that you are more likely to become an international rock sensation than you are to be um, bitten by an alligator. So those aren't really a concern for me. I do see them, like I said, sometimes um, we purposely go looking for them in state parks because uh, it's kind of cool to go watch the gators. You typically won't really see them uh, basking around unless it's winter because they are cold blooded. So they'll come bask for the sun or you will see them um, when they are mating season. Mama gators do watch their nests. So unless it's one of those two times, they're pretty much off to themselves doing their own thing, trying to find their next meal, dinner, fish, not people. So um, those aren't really a concern, but I do enjoy that we can find them sometimes. I also, I've become a birder since moving home. I don't know why. Um, I am a Florida native and we moved away for a little while until we started having children and like my college years through early early um, adulthood and once we started having kids we came home and we'd come back from a large city where we didn't really see a lot of wildlife I mean, you had squirrels and like some songbirds and stuff but not to the level that there is here so i love in my yard i can identify at least 20 different kinds of birds um, I have ibis walking through my front yard. I see storks and great blue herons on a regular occasion. Um, terns, there's kingfisher. 
Um, Osprey, I love the Osprey. There are Osprey at many of the local parks. Where my son plays baseball, they have a flock of wild parakeets. Um, there's just, there's, oh, the American bald eagles. We've got multiple bald eagles in the area. One of our local communities, uh, Stonewater in Cape Coral, actually has in the middle of the community an eagles preserved area for their eagle nesting site. Um, they had two baby eaglets this year. So, and then we also have Southwest Florida EagleCam.com follows the love stories of our local birds. I was going to say it was Harriet and M18. However, Harriet disappeared this past winter. Um, it was actually something that we really followed along on because M18, um, the, which is the father of the two eaglets they had in the nest at the time, raised by himself as a single father their two babies and got them all the way to fledging, which is really difficult for a male eagle to do. Not impossible. He was looking a little haggard there at the end, but he did it. He did it. So I just, it's been kind of fun watching them. They're like little local celebrities. That tells you what kind of a small town it feels like around here. And uh, it's not a small town. We do have a million people in the area. Um, it's not a million people specifically in Fort Myers, but I think Lee County is somewhere around 750,000 at this point with the numbers rapidly rising. So it's not a small town anymore. We have hundreds of thousands of people here, but it still has kind of kept that small town charm to me. We are a two target town in Cape Coral. Um, we got a couple of targets over in Fort Myers too. So it's not exclusively a small town but it still has a little bit of that charm and there's things that you can do like everybody ends up kind of knowing everybody um at, at least to some level so like for me I'm really active in the moms groups around here because I still have some small children and it's kind of weird when some well it's not weird I don't mind it I think it's kind of cool that but like there'll be people who come over to me and be like oh hey I recognize you from you know your work with the Lee County School District or or what or you know online from the moms group or whatever it is and that's it's kind of neat to like have that sense of community or like you know, if they're looking for a recommendation on something and you'll be like, oh, we go to Kelly's dance and they go, oh, we go to Kelly's dance too. And they're like, oh, hey, I know that lady. So there is a little bit of a small town vibe sometimes, um, particularly. And one of the things that I love about it is in the parks and rec system. So I really enjoy our parks and rec system. Um, we have a pretty vibrant, or at least in my opinion, it's a pretty vibrant parks and rec system. We have regular community events through that. Just today I saw, well, tomorrow the city of Cape Coral has their, um, fall festival, their Halloween, whatever. I think they're calling it fall festival, but it's a trunk or treat, a uh, citywide trunk or treat. And then, you know, Fort Myers has their tree lightings already announced for the holidays. Um, today, Cape Coral announced that they've got their holiday boat along coming up um, through Parks and Rec and the festival around that. They've got an outdoor movie night coming up at JC Park next month. They put the Veterans Day Parade on the calendar. Um, all those things I know are already in the works, but it's just kind of, you know, they resurfaced this morning. So, I really like all the events that they hold for us. The facilities, especially for like my kids, um, in terms of like activities is great. Um, we have soccer is very affordable through Parks and Rec. Um, baseball is really affordable. They've just, they've got some really nice options. And it doesn't just end with my kids activities. There are adult active um, classes, like there's pickleball leagues and there and that's huge right now if you don't play pickleball already you may pick it up by the time you get here because pickleball is massive around here um but pickleball leagues and there's card playing like a poker league um there is arts and crafts like i believe there's a ceramics class adult ceramics class and adult dance classes 
Um, there are field trip days so that you can like go to the casino with other people, local residents together. Um, not only is there city parks and city parks and rec for Fort Myers and for Cape Coral, but there's also county parks and rec that are also available to everybody. So there's really nice built out resources. Uh, the library system here is fantastic. They're constantly doing events too. So I just, I really enjoy all of the free or less expensive or like community building things that the area provides. I should also mention too, beyond the stuff for the city and the county, um, state parks here are pretty nice like we like to go camping we like to spend a lot of time outdoors and I should really make that the next thing is we just like to spend a lot of time outdoors and um, so we're constantly on the water at the beaches um, we're regularly kayaking and camping and nature trails this weekend I'm headed to Jading Darling to do the nature trails there with my kids and that's a preserve so you know, and with my, with a good friend. So future video, probably I'll, I'll shoot for you guys and show you what JD Darling looks like. It's a great little park and they've got manatees and they've got roseate spoonbills and, you know, all, all the really cool kind of, you know, local uh, tropical animals and things like that can be found there. So I just, I really like the outdoor space. I like the park system. Um, even during the summer, you know, a lot of people complain, might be not the right word, but you know, the heat, it's hot. It's hot. It's really hot. Um, doors are not wide open in the mornings during the summer. That's for sure. It's hot. And we still find ourselves outside though. We will plan our time outdoors at the end of the day um we will we we have animals that have to be taken care of so we have to be outside to take care of them um but it it doesn't slow us down it's hot we're sweaty we come in and we take showers and decompress because it's just it's hot but it doesn't stop us. Like we're still outside, even when it feels like it's 110 degrees outside. So I do want to take a shower just from the sweat. Um, we just try it. We, we do a lot of swimming then. We are in our pool often. Uh, we are, we, when we didn't have a pool, we had the beach. We were at the beach often. We still go to the beach pretty regularly. Um, I know people who are there daily. Unfortunately, it's a little bit too far for us to be there daily from our home but we do go as often as we can. And um, we like to shell while we're there. The water is always wonderful. It's not nearly as cold as the West Coast is. If anybody's coming from the West Coast, you know what I'm talking about. That water feels like you're dunking in an ice bath. And here it's like a nice tempid bath. It's great. So I can spend all day in the water here, but, um, yeah, we're still outside even during the summer. So I will say one of the other things I really like from being around here too, we like to travel and we do travel in the summer. So, um, we like the proximity from Fort Myers, I can get to multiple international airports. Fort Myers Airport is international, um, but it's still a smaller international airport. It doesn't always have the best prices for flights, but we can fly out pretty easily out of Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Tampa, or Orlando. Um, our love language is travel. We want our kids to experience the world. And so we have been able to find flights out of one of those airports re for a fraction of the cost of other places. So, um, and I like that, that we are kind of like in the middle of an L so that we can easily get to one of those airports. It's not like we're limited to just what's right within the community or in the area. 
we've got lots of options. Um, we have found Ireland for like $350 and we have found um, Paris. My last trip was to Paris. Uh, it was incredible. And we found tickets for like $440. So you, if you hunt them down, you can find pretty affordable travel and it's nice being able to have the different options of the airports to go to. Tampa is about two hours away and Miami is about two and a half. So both of them are pretty much the same. Um, I will say that this particular area is not going to be a hub for, you know, any sort of like nightlife. Um, when we came from the big city, we missed the nightlife a little bit. Um, but at the same time, it kind of felt like we had left the rat race. So on those weekends that we do need more nightlife, we head up to Tampa or we head over to Miami. Um, it's great to do like a weekend, go to a concert, that sort of thing. Um, but for the day-to-day -day life, it's kind of nice being able to just let our hair down. Um, and just kind of enjoy life and not feel like everything is rushed. Life is just, you don't, you don't have that much time, right? So being able to enjoy and savor it, it feels like I savor it a little bit more. And that's something that I like. Um, Those are a few of the things that I really enjoy, but I'm, there's certainly a lot more. Uh, if you have any questions about this or about any of the data for the area, say you want to compare homes like Cape Coral versus Fort Myers, or if you want to have an idea of like what pool homes cost or waterfront homes cost, feel free to reach out. The contact information is below. I do have a link tree on there. It has my 96 page moving guide. It can teach you everything about moving to Southwest Florida. Um, particularly that one is for Lee County, but I do have information for Collier and Charlotte County too, if you're also looking for those. Um, it also has my social media on there. Um, feel free to follow us on, and I say us because I do have a team and we have on there pretty much things every single day. My amazing assistant, Aubrey, has been posting daily videos for you guys over there on what life is like here. So if you're missing me in the week, go check those out because she is doing a phenomenal job with that component right now in particular. Um, she set herself a goal of 31 videos for 31 days in October, and she's got little clips about all of down here for you. Um, there's also a link on there to have like a one-on-one -on -one and we can talk about your specific lifestyle and your specific goals and what you're looking for. And then we can kind of build out the search together. Um, I do have a network of agents throughout the country who are always willing to help. So if you need somebody in your hometown, just shout out. I'm happy to put you in touch. We can get that ball rolling for you. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I wish you much health and happiness.